Amen, Church of God. Amen. 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 Let's glorify our Lord for what he did in my brother-in-law's life and everybody's. This is my brother-in-law who is from Congo. My wife, she's from Congo. And he was mentally ill for the last three years. Not mentally, I don't know. Even if you can take him to the church, he could beat up the pastors. Imagine. He could beat up and no one could stand against them until... We st you know, you got a medication and then having a tablet and the injection, a monthly injection and the volume tablet, that's when you could sleep. But after three years, we discovered, and then why can't you bring him to the church of God, which is JG? And when he came here, we just, he arrived in Zimbabwe on Friday. Saturday, he got registered on prayer line. On Sunday, we brought him to the church. And that is the day he stopped his tablet. That was the first step, what God did in that. And we were been looking for the rest band. And it wasn't available. Months later, it happens, and then we got one. And the moment we put, he started becoming aggressive, and then he just cut it off, and he could throw it. And then we buy another one, he cuts it off, and he throw it. Then we said, oh, we have to tie him up, and then put, placing the rest band on his arm. And then you can see even the other one. It was almost torn, you know, we stitch it with the salt tapes. <laughs> and we brought him again to the prayer line. And the guy is delivered, he's free, he's healed now, he's smiling, look at him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody just stand up. Somebody just stand up in the house of God. Somebody stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the biggest moment in this church, church of God. Amen. When we are testifying that someone was mentally disturbed, if you ever had a, a, a relative who was mentally disturbed, you know what I mean. Stand up, church of God. I want us to do something before this testimony finishes up. Hallelujah. I want us all to shout Jesus three times to give back all the glory to Jehovah God because he deserves all the glory. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Amen. We give back all the glory. Hallelujah. Can we just hear from our brother here? Unawazi kwa nesha wa, unasikiaje, unawazi kwa nesha wa, unawazi kwa nesha wa, unawazi kwa nesha mungu sababu hii ni mwaka mupia. I'm thanking God, I'm happy, and happy new year. Uh, this is Kiswahili, actually. Kiswahili. Okay, we thank God. So, what does he have to say to God, to what he has done for him? Kuna kitu naozi kusharia kwa kushaurea kwa watu wa mungu? Taweza kushaurea tu kanisa na kwa watu wa mungu ya kusema, kama tunakua ukanisa, tuweke akili yetu fashu moya, tuhuyue, tulafata nini kukanisa. Uh, when we come in the house of the Lord, let us put our heart and our mind in God and in one place in the church. Hallelujah. We thank God for this powerful testimony. We thank God for healing him. Hallelujah. Amen. For he is called Jehovah Rapha. Amen. Amen. Whenever we have lost hope, he's always there to give us hope. Amen. Amen. Somebody is sitting on the prayer line today. Just look at this testimony. You came here looking for healing. Today is your day. Hallelujah. Amen. From grass to grace. From nobody to somebody. Amen. From so nobody. Nomboto to Sambodo. Hallelujah. From Nomboto to Sambodo. Hallelujah. This is the year and the time. Amen. Amen. What do you have to say, Prophet? Okay. Actually, with everything that you faced with your brother here. I, I, actually, I have nothing to say. You have it. You can see it. Whoever tells you don't put on a race band or it is this and that, please don't hear. You have seen it. The devil himself doesn't like it. So out of the others and your neighbors, what would they tell you? They are devils themselves. And put it, be a fool and be saved. That's all what I have. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to Jehovah God. Jesus, we thank you. Let's clap hands for Jesus. My name is Emel Damadzinga. Your testimony. I just want to give 
all my gratitude to the God of the JG. I started coming here just last end of last year. And when the prophet was talking about get your car, receive your cars, I also just received that word and took it into my heart. And just last week, my daughter bought me a car with an hotel, so I now have a car. Yes, there was a lady who had come with a car and she parked there, a maroon car. And the prophet said, all those who believe, go and touch and you come back. So I went out and you touched and believed that I received my car. And it was only last week that I'm receiving the car. Hallelujah! The God of this place is just too much. Hallelujah! Yes. So the God of JG has just provided a car for me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God. Mama, can you give us some words of encouragement to those that have received the word and their manifestation of their prophecy has not come to pass? What do you have to say, Mama? I think when the word is being spoken, receive that word in your heart and receive that it will come to pass. The word, like Pastor Power has just said today, that word is life. That word will manifest, and this is manifested. Hallelujah! Can you please tell us your name, where you're from, and share mm. your testimony? My name is Natasha. I'm from Chegutu. My testimony here goes like this. Let's clap hands for Chegutu, Church of God. Hallelujah! The Church of God is growing also in Chegutu. Hallelujah! Last year, 2016, December, was not feeling well. My head was killing me, my stomach pains. So, Takenda Kuma uh, hospitals three times discharged, but nothing happened. Then we came here last week on Sunday. Then I saw the man of God, Prophet Eddie. He prayed for me and I got delivered. Because of his love, he had delivered. I just thank God for that. Amen. Hallelujah! Jesus. Amen. Amen. We thank God for healing you, for Amen. he is Jehovah Rapha, a God Amen. of love, a God of restoration, a God of healing. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank, thank you. you. Let's clap hands for Jesus. From town, uh, the my wife started to, to get ill, and she passed away in April. And I've got three kids. The first one, she's eight years in the last two and a half years. And uh, I just continue worshiping God, asking God for direction and for protection for the kids. And uh, one day when I was walking in town, I met with uh, Caroline. Uh, she fellowship here. Then uh, she invited me to come to the church. Then I came to the church. Uh, before coming to the church, she said, you have to fast first. Then I was fasting for two days. Then I come here for the service on Wednesday. Then uh, when the prophet wa was worshiping, then my, my left heart started burning. And I fall down. And I started vomiting blood and uh, some stuff. So to me, it was so strange because I would never experienced it before. So even up to now, I don't know the revelation of that, 
of that thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This was your first time in this place, and today we're just thanking God for delivering you. Amen. Amen. What happened in your life? What happened after that? Even now, I've got better dreams, and also I've got peace of mind. And I got a CV, but I got a phone on Friday. I got a tobacco. I got a phone on Friday for interview. Let's clap hands for Jesus! your name, where you came from, and your testimony. Okay. Um, my name is Wendy Katuramu, and standing next to me is my husband, Duncan Paul Katuramu. I'm here to testify of the goodness of the Lord. On uh, Friday night, I decided to just dash out to the shops and get some uh, shopping, a few groceries for my family. And I'm sure some of you understand what it's like if you're a full-time working mom. I had a lesson on Saturday, and I thought I'll just quickly do it. So when I went to Bon Marche, 2nd Street, I picked up a few things. And on my way out, I didn't realize that I dropped my wallet. Um, so it was only yesterday morning, I woke up, I realized I needed to get something quickly from the shops. I looked for my wallet, I couldn't find it. Checked everywhere around the house, still couldn't find it. That's when I realized, oh, I thought maybe it was stolen, maybe I'd lost it. So my prayer, I just said, Lord, help me to find my wallet, because it had everything in it. It's got my driver's license, my debit cards, all my work IDs, my park numbers, everything. So I prayed and I tried to think, well, where did I go? And I remembered I'd last used my card at the shops. So when I drove to Second Street, and of course, I think as someone of the flesh with little faith, I went just under the tree where I was parked. I looked under the car, and uh, the, what I was looking for was actually just my cards, because I thought, well, if someone's picked up my wallet, let them take the money. All I need is my card. And you know what it's like with the police? My license was there as well. So I carried on praying, looked around. I couldn't find it. Then I thought, well, let me just get into the shop and check. As I walked in, I met a young lady, and I asked her whether I could see the manager. So she asked me what my problem was, and I said, I, th I think I lost my wallet either between here and going home, but because I was driving, so it was obviously just between the shops and the car park. So she says to me, come, and I looked, and I thought, what do you mean, come? She says, no, just come and follow me, and I thought, okay. I walked behind her, and she went behind her counter, and uh, she just took out this plastic bag, and she threw it on a counter. She says, is this yours? And I said, yes. Then she says, what's your name? I confirmed my name. And upon opening um, my wallet, everything was intact, including um, $230 that I had in it. Jesus! My and I think for me, uh, church, this one thing I'd like you all to understand is that the anointing in this house is powerful. The anointing of our father, Prophet Ed Branston, our specialist, he covers us. I didn't know that I'd lost my wallet on Friday night. And yet it was covered. Someone picked it up, took it into Bon Marche, and I think someone passed it to the, one of the managers, and it was kept safe for me. And it's not my own doing, it's the God we serve who watches over his own children. So, yeah. so this is what was given to me, everything that was mine all intact. And I think just one last message I also have for the church. Remember our father has always told us that the anointing only works for you when we respect it. So my encouragement to each one of you today is that let's serve, let's continue to respect our Father. So I just want to thank God, the God of Prophet Ed. Thank hallelujah, you. hallelujah, hallelujah. A new era, a new generation, a new dimension to see and experience. That's the ministry of Prophet Ed. This young prophet has the powerful and true word for all the seasons of your life. Contact us today for the prophet's resources and itinerary by the information on your screen.
This presentation has been brought to you by Prophet Ed and Jesus Generation International Ministries, together with various donations from viewers like you. Thank you. You are watching The Fresh Fire. Stand up. Prophesy! Stand there. Do I know you? No, Prophet. Are you sure? Yes. We have never met before? No. Are you sure? Yes. Listen to me. God said I should pray for you because God wants to change your address. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The situation for your family is coming to an end today. Amen. Professor. Thank you, Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is ministering to me that I need to get in your family. And once I get in your family, I need to redeem marriages in your family. It's true, men of God. Because marriages are not a thing to write home about in your family. It's true, prophet. Even you yourself here. Yes. Even you yourself. Yes, prophet. There is nothing that we can say. There is anything there. Yes, prophet. I, I wish I was talking to somebody here. Yes, prophet. Prophet. Oh, deeper man of God. God said I should redeem marriages yes in your family yes it's true i saw women and women they were like lined up and with chains with it's chains true, like this it's true and the angel was mr doing that these people are tight they cannot move yes so they can never experience as i'm talking to you these people they have got grace but the grace cannot be seen because they are tight but this afternoon god said you are going to be set free amen So before I can talk to you, I need to remove this demon. Go stand there. Because prophecy without deliverance is a waste of time. There is a, a place called Cyclos. Cyclos. And I'm seeing an application there. Cyprus for my daughter. <laughs> Um, prophecy is good but like I'll be trying to concentrate on deliverance like I could have continued prophesying but it's a waste of time if you're prophesying to a demon eh? no it can be done? no why? why? why are you delivering me? who are you? <laughs> if you know then what? I said who are you? <laughs> I rule. Yeah? Me. You rule? Yes, I rule. Uh -huh. <laughs> no one will prosper in their family. I tie their destinies. You tie they their destinies? They will not prosper. Uh -huh. <laughs> what else have you done? They must worship me. They must worship you? Yes. Why should they worship you? <laughs> I am the king. Yes. They have to worship me. <laughs> so who are you? <laughs> if you know, then what? Jesus wants to know. I said, who are you? <laughs> Speak! <laughs> I said, who are you? Speak. Don't waste my time. <laughs> The tire of the destinies. You are the tire of destinies. Yes. So, as the tire of destinies, how do you operate? <laughs> how do you operate? Speak. Why do you want to know? 
Yeah? Why? You know what God was ministering to me as I was talking to this woman? Then God said, the demon with this woman is big. That if even talking is a waste of time, just get straight to delivering her. Because there are some cases where you have to prophesy to a person, and there are cases where God, like this one, is, God says, quickly go straight to deliverance. It's a waste of time. So for how long have you been in there? Oh, since birth. Since birth? Yes. Speak up. How did you enter? Since birth. How did you enter here? I knew here from a mother's womb that this one <laughs> shall reign. But I tied it. You tied it? Yes. I I So how do you operate? <laughs> I just come in the night. Speak up. I just come in the night. Uh -huh. And destroy everything she dreams. <laughs> Why do you destroy everything she dreams? I don't want her to prosper. If she prospers this one, she's dangerous. She will look for the whole clan and bless them. Even the churches, she says, hey, I'm making them bless. I'm making them bless. For what? She will not prosper. Tie. You help us, I tie them. <laughs> Hallelujah. So do you know where you are? Uh, all the past three weeks, I didn't want you to come here. Uh -huh. Yes, because I knew it. That one day, this man would deliver this woman. <laughs> so you didn't want her to come here? Yes. So do you know where you are right now? Where are you? The church. What church? Uh, eh? You don't know it. Speak up! Hey, your angels. Eh? Oh. You want them to beat me now? If you say the name, they'll beat you. Yeah. Why would they beat you? <laughs> <laughs> eh? <laughs> yeah. Because I've been tying a destiny for long. They will beat me. They'll beat you. So where are oh. the angels? My shrines. Where? They will go to my shrines and my altars and destroy us. Where are the angels? Here, yeah, they're all over. Where? Everywhere. Those. They at the altar. Today she wanted to go in the altar and I told her, stop that nonsense. Whenever she puts her money on that altar, she gets a breakthrough. Nonsense. <laughs> to go and see uh, Prophet Eddie whenever he's preaching, whenever he's declaring, when I go with my money, something happens. <laughs> Not today. So, there are angels everywhere on the doors and on the altar. Yes. So Can't you, you see them? You know. So many. Hmm. <laughs> so, she was going to put her money there and you said, stop that nonsense. Yes. Why did you not want her to put her money on the altar? I didn't want her to put it because she's looking for a financial breakthrough for her daughter to go to Cyprus. <laughs> so, I knew... But you are so clever. Why did you pick her on this day like this? Nonsense. Shy. Nonsense. A new era. A new generation. A new dimension to see and experience. That's the ministry of Prophet A. This young prophet has the powerful and true word for all the seasons of your life. Contact us today 
for the Prophet's resources and itinerary by the information on your screen. So do you know who you are talking to right now? Mm. Do you know who you are talking to? Yes. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> what do you want, Eddie? <laughs> you, 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 you say, who? who? You said who? No, I said who are you talking to? You said who? Prophet Eddie. Do you know what's happening there now? When I am prophesying, do you know why I'm so accurate? It is all about angels. So my angel is the one, when I come and stand before you, he will speak to me concerning you. So what is happening here? I'm doing deliverance. So as I'm doing deliverance, I'm being guided by the Spirit to do deliverance. How to do it? The problem we have is that a lot of people keep on just look at the person and search and say, out, 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 slap you, out, out, out. As long as you fall, you are free. But you are not seeing what you are casting out. If you are doing that, then you just say, out, 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 and you are not seeing what you are casting out. Stop it. You will die. Am I talking to somebody here? So now, we are, doing, we, are, we are doing deliverance. I say, who are you talking to? The demon then says what? Ed. My angel now gets angry. And says, insubordination. How dare you? And moves closer. Immediately when I say, who are you talking to? This demon then sees that I've been threatened. Then says, prophet. Because he knows if I say Ed, this one is going to strike. You see, angels in the spirit, they know protocol more than humans know protocol. That is why it is easy for someone to say, Ed. Or to point to a man of God and say, Ah, Magaya. Or to say, Makandiwa. Ah, Joshua. Yet angels know them by title. Am I talking to somebody here? Glory be to God. So you are talking to who? Prophet Eddie. But you called me Eddie before. Mm, I don't know what made me to say prophet. Now, your demon, your time has expired. It is time for you to leave, and it is time for you to go. the maximum of Jesus Christ. Out! Out! Be free! Be free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. She's free. Stand up. Hello? Hello? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. What happened? I'm just feeling a heat. You are just feeling a heat. Yes. Jesus Christ has set you and your family free. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for setting my family free. I am looking at your family now, and I'm seeing everyone's destiny being restored back to them in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I receive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for setting us free. Thank you, Lord, for setting us free. Hallelujah. So Jesus has set you free. 
Go and maintain your deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Go and maintain your deliverance. Amen. And God will see you through. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank Glory you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Who is going to Cyprus? Who is going to Cyprus? What's the name? Chipo. Chipo is going to Cyprus. Yes. Tell her that I'm seeing a letter coming from Sing. A, a person called Sing. Amen. Sing. Amen. Sing. Well, she received the first letter from Sing before. All right. Sing. Which was saying approved. Yes. But the dates were given. But it seems as if now it is a problem not to go there. Yes, finances. Do you have an account? Yes, I've got it. Which bank? ZB. ZB. Lift up your right hand. Let there be miracle money in your finances. <laughs> in Jesus name. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. I say receive your healing in the name of Jesus. That spirit that has been tormenting you, that demon that has been fighting you, I command that demon to leave you in the name of Jesus. You foul spirit, it is time for you to live. It is time for you to go. It is time for you to live. It is time for you to go. You demon, where are you? Where are you? Where are you in the lives of these people? Where are you in their business? Where are you in their home? Where are you in their family? Where are you? 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 Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Open up your mouth right now and begin to command those demons out. Command every spirit out of your body. And cause your wings to fall on me. Baba, open the floodgates in abundance. And cause your wings.